Right then people, here we go. Time to get these beautiful slings out. I'm very excited, but also quite nervous. Never done this before. I know Mummy is going to be a bit upset. you're not going to have the best view on this camera people, sorry, but the tarantulas come first and I have to make sure that they get my priority. I'm going to use a container with some moist paper towel and hopefully as they're all in her cocoon, I'm hoping, hoping, that I can just release, well, put a little hole in the coco cocoon, and I'm going to try and f siphon some out before Mummy decides to rip my hand off. So, um, she's not going to be happy with me. This is the first time this has been opened. Oh, look at it moving. Check that out. Oh, God, that's tough man. Right then. As they go upwards, I'm going to put that just there. I'm going to try and just. My face, of course. That money. I think that's money trying to. Uh... <laughs> they are they've moved now. Thank God. So I can now grab grab the wall. Oh my god. They are oh. tons of ah oh, they're running to the back now. Yeah, my son in the background. Right then. Oh, God. I'm trying to see if I can give you a view. Can you see that down there? <laughs> Very cute. Scoops and up. Yay! Hmm. Number one. You can see that from there. Cute. Perfect little verse of colours. However, can't be doing this all night, one by one. So I shall be getting mother out shortly, I think, and. Uh, Oh yes, 
Sorry. Check it out, people. Look at all that. There's mummy on the wall. Time. So blue. Love them. Oh, mommy's on the move. Oh, come in for me, I think. Yep. But how we get mommy out? Here's another thing all together. She is not going to be happy with me. God, I, I absolutely hate this bit because she's only doing this for her babies and she will bite for obvious reasons and to be honest with you I can't blame her See, it's really hard because I don't want to touch her babies because I could squash one. That's it. Are you coming with me? Are you coming with me? That's a good girl. Come on, there you go. She's very calm. She must be starving. I think she's just dehydrated. Oh, yeah, bless her. God, she's her abdomen is tiny. Right, I am going to feed her next before I do this because she looks to be very small. She's usually a massive fat beast of a woman and she's tiny now. She looks almost deflated. I say, turn it up. Turn it up. Gosh, she is so tame. She must be weak. This is not the same female versi that I know. My God. Right. Fantastic. Oh, God, that was much easier than I thought. I thought she was going to give me hell. Oh, brilliant. Right then. Now this is going to be a lot, a lot 
Y sí. Absolutely incredible. Well, uh, I've got to show you this, people. I have to show you this. And if you can see that from there. Look at that. I reckon there's 200 in there plus. Seriously. That is phenomenal. Maybe I can roll a ball in there. Get a little climb on it. And then yank him out. Hmm. So sweep the light here. Good point. <laughs> Next time, yes, I will take the advice of incubating. I shall incubate them. Good thing about these though, once they're in, they kind of pretty much stay together, which is great really. Just gotta make sure they go down. Could be a better angle. I lay them down. I can touch them back there. Guys, up you go. Up you go. I need to bring them forward. You see? No, no, no. Wrong way.
plugged the end of the barrel so they can only come up now which is what I want I think the quickest way here is to just tear away the web I hate destroying mummy's web but there is no quicker way of doing it Container as much as I can. It's okay, I'm not hitting them. Generally, I'm not. How's that? Genius. Sorry, Mummy, I wrecked your web. But there really was no other way of doing that. Tomorrow, as it's getting quite late now, I will sort these out properly. And get some kind of order. Because, <laughs> I mean, jeez, there must be, I'd say, at least 200, 250 plus. I don't think I've seen that many in one egg sack even on YouTube videos from a versicutler anyway that and that's not one not one bad one literally every single versicutler nothing just nothing incredible Sisters, could be your siblings. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I think you're hiding, guys. There's always one, isn't there? Come on. Come on. Oh, you can. Very cute. No, no, no. Job done for now. That was part one. I'll do part two a bit later. Alright then. Just checking. There's no babies crushed when I move to sack.
so I know I had to pull it quite hard to get it out and I just want to check no babies were damaged and stuffed down the bottom bless them that's I'm making sure none of them's getting cut nobody's getting hurt god they just clump together it's quite incredible actually how many I keep saying it but I'm just blown away by just the sheer amount of tarantulas. You'd never believe it would you but I used to be arachnophobic three years ago, four years ago, sorry. Terrified of spiders. Hate them. Well, I didn't hate them. I just really didn't like the look of them. I didn't like the feel of them. But now, I think they're the most fascinating and beautiful things ever. So safe. <laughs> I can't believe how many I've got. I cannot believe how many I've got. I mean, seriously, check this out. Look at that. It's just a ball of blue fuzz. I mean, that's just absolute madness. No. And that's everywhere. And I mean, the whole thing is just wall to wall in blue fuzz. I mean, look at that. There are hundreds. Excuse me, Cheek Chappy, where do you think you're going? Yes. Madness. So I put the baby in the background, but uh, it's way past his bedtime and he's hungry. Check out people. Oh. Right then, that's the end of part one. I shall do another video trying to count these little guys and separate them out. Why is he on his own? Is he alright? Yeah, he's alright. There's bound to be some deaths. I mean, you know, there has to be. There's no way can I be that lucky, <laughs> but yeah, let's try and get a close-up. Mm. Amazing. Well, thank you people. See you in part two in the next couple of days. Sadly, as I've had to destroy her web, to get all the slings out and this is it's stinking absolutely filthy and the woods come apart so I've decided I'm going to give her a new terrarium so the wood I was saving for my Cocotheria I'm just going to give it to her put it in this nice new new setup plenty for it to climb sturdy Sorry about the lighting, I've dimmed the uh, the lights, but uh, yeah, 
Yep. So now just need to get it into her new enclosure. Bless her, she is absolutely cream cracked. She's just not not herself at all. So let's see if we can just get her back out now. She's acting very strange. She's almost too unresponsive. Very strange. It's almost like I could handle her. Nice place to go hide. That's it. Good girl. Right then, that's that. I shall give her tank a damn good spray, make sure she's hydrated. Uh, let you know how she gets on. Right then, cheers people.